Rev up your engines! Today I'm going to talk about run flat tires. Should you get them or not? Now the original run flat tires were made by Michelin in 1934. They made it for military use and, believe it or not, armored cars so people couldn't shoot out the tires and rob them. These tires had a special rim inside and it was all foam. So if the tire went out, the vehicle would then ride on the foam. And like I said, it was for military vehicles and armored cars. It cost so much, they never put it on any regular cars. Then in 1958, Goodyear made what they called captive air tire. It was the first one that was sold for the whole market. I remember when I was a kid in the 50s, they had this ad with this woman who got a flat tire and they were showing how horrible it was that this woman couldn't possibly know how to change a tire, that she was walking through a dangerous neighborhood. Ah, they weren't all that popular, but it was the first real mass produced one. Now recently, both Bridgestone and Pirelli were supplying run flat tires to BMWs and Minis because they didn't want to have a spare tire. They wanted less weight, they wanted more space. So instead of having four regular tires and a spare, you got four of these run flat tires. Now in my mind, using them instead of regular spare tires is a dumb thing. Take this 2002 Lexus. It's got a full size spare. Here it is, a full size spare tire. This one even has a fancy alloy rim. Now in my mind on modern cars, it's bad enough that these newer cars only have those stupid little spare tires out of the mini spare tires. Because if you've ever driven one with one of those mini tires on, they don't handle well. If you're in the ice or snow, forget it, you're gonna kill yourself. But the point of having no spare tire at all is even dumber. I mean, yeah, you can drive these run flats theoretically up to 50 miles, some guys have pushed it to 100, at 50 miles an hour or less, but even then they don't handle all that well. And if you get a big gouge in the side of them, the tire's ruined, so you're gonna have to buy a new expensive tire, and that's not gonna be cheap. For example, on a 2010 BMW 3 Series, if you buy a normal Goodyear tire for it, you can get them as low as $111 a piece for a normal tire. But for that same car, if you get a Goodyear run flat, it's $327. And of course, if you go to the BMW dealer, it's a lot more than that for their run flat tires. Now, my next door neighbor on the other side of the fence, she's got a Mini that came with run flat tires. And unfortunately, she was always getting flats in them. They cost her a fortune to repair when she could get it repaired. So she just gave up and got a set of normal tires and a cute little air compressor to fill them up if they go bad on the road. Since she no longer has a spare tire to put on, and that can work okay, because most tires get nails or something and they lose air gradually so you can just pump them back up again maybe put a little fix a flat in it and then pump them up so a good air pump can help but really nothing beats having a good spare tire in your trunk when an emergency happens and here's some information on run flat tires that you may not know to begin with they weigh 20 to 40 percent more when you have more weight that's spinning on your car you're going to get worse gas mileage and since they have thicker sidewalls so they can ride on that when the air runs out, they ride poorly. Believe it or not, your tires, especially through the sidewalls, absorb more shocks than your shock absorbing system does. So if you have really stiff tires, it's gonna make for a poor ride. Which is also one of the reasons that most people and manufacturers don't use run flat tires. You buy a fancy BMW for its great ride and then it rides rough, you're not gonna like it. They experimented with it, but really, they don't use it much if at all anymore because people spend that kind of money, they want a nice ride. They don't want something that rides rough. And that's why we have air filled tires in the first place. Originally, they were solid rubber. Well, solid rubber rides like Whew, it's like a kid in one of those little red wagons. You go every bump, you feel it because they're solid rubber. So all the millions of dollars spent in research and development to make a car run good, and then put on these tires that run rougher, eh, that's not gonna cut the mustard. So it's another reason these tires aren't all that popular. For example, Honda used these run flats on some of their Odysseys and Acuras, but they stopped doing it in 2009. There's no sense in designing a thing that rides right and then put on a tire that doesn't ride all that well. And from my experience with run flat tires, they're often very hard to repair. And the guys that repair them, I've seen guys charge $90 to repair one. But a lot of times they're not repairable, so you have to buy a new one. And they cost so much money, economically, it's not such a smart choice either. So unless you're fighting a war in a military vehicle or fighting a war on the street, driving a Brinks armored car, run flat tires, hey, not such a great idea if you ask me. So if you never want to miss another one of my new car repair videos, remember to ring that bell.